All right, if you were watching my last pickups video, you know what this is. This is going to be the unboxing that I got from Premium Edition. This is pretty much wave three, their third wave of games. Uh, normally they would release two games at a time, uh, but for whatever reason, there's three games in here. Now, before I open this up, I'm gonna explain why I'm doing this. There's two reasons why I'm doing this as a separate video. The first is if I do an unboxing for these, I can get a patch because you could do certain things and get patches for them, kind of like with the Atari, old uh, Activision Atari games, where if you beat a certain score, you sent in proof that you did that and they'd send you a patch. Same deal here. Now, I first got wind of Premium Edition because I saw an ad on Facebook for this game. And I looked it up and I was like, wow, this looks so interesting. It was like, um, <laughs> it was like NES hockey, but with super blood and everything. And I, I got it, I played it, and I really enjoyed it. We had the, like, this is how they package things. So this is one of the reasons why they are one of my favorite. I'm not gonna do this for every one of these. All right, so now I can open it up. <laughs> and I just kinda wanna show, I can't put this, I got the patch for this. So in order to get the patch for the game, so every game comes with a card like this. And on the back of the card, it's got what the challenge is. You follow the instructions, you post it on social media, proof, the proof that you did uh, indeed meet the challenge and then you email them and uh, they'll send you a patch. I'll kind of show you the patches that I've gotten so far. I really enjoyed this one and this is the first game. This is number one. At the same time they released their first game, they uh, also released game number two, which was this Pigeon Dev Games Collection. And this is game number two. This is like a collection of four games. It's pretty interesting. I, I enjoyed playing them. In order to get the patch, this was the patch. You had to just beat one of the four games. Out of all the games so far that I played from them, this might be my least favorite, but I still enjoyed it. But then when Wave 2 came out, I was like, okay, I'm just buying them because I really like the way these were packaged. This is game number three. This is Demon's Tear. And I don't, I may not have done uh, videos on these at all, but again, I really like the way these, this packaging is. So. Let me open this up. And of course, I did get the, um, the patch for that one. That's the patch. Just beat the third boss with the cleric. That was the instruction. But then I got to this one. This is game number four, a robot named Fight. And I was absolutely blown away by this game. This is one of my favorite games, period, to date. Uh, this is on like Steam and everything as well. I would not have known about the game if it wasn't for the physical version. I played this game a lot a lot a lot like every so often i will still play this game it's like metroid but everything's randomly generated and it's kind of like a roguelike in which you start playing and you'll unlock weapons and then those weapons stay un unlocked for future playthroughs of course i got the patch for this one too mouth meat patch <laughs> unlock the grit glitch module achievement so you had to find the glitched area in order to uh get that patch mouth meat which I've obviously done, and the game's not in here because I have it in another case that I, for games I play frequently on the Switch. Now we're getting to what's in the box. To give you an idea how long ago I ordered this, I ordered this back on November 17th, 2021. I'm just looking at the old order because I looked up how much uh, I spent on everything. And in case I forget to mention it, all the games in here were $39.95. So I, those three games in there, and then a couple extra bonus ones. I'll try to remember how much I spent on it. So. Let's open it up. And I kind of did look through this already, but I haven't opened anything up. All right, so before we get into the extra stuff, I'll set that aside and we'll look at the games first. So, um, let's see here, are these in order? If I, okay, these are the order they're supposed to be in. Number five is uh, Phone Phonotopia Awakening. Uh, I think that's supposed to be Phenotopia. Mighty Fight Federation is game number six. And game number seven, and a cathedral. So yeah, we'll open up each of these. But before we open these up, I'll show off uh, the extra stuff. Now with Mighty Fight Federation, there were uh, card sets, set A, set B, and set C. You could have bought these separately, but I don't know why you would just buy one pack and not the whole thing. So all three packs of these were um, $14.99, and it's not random. This is the complete collection. Set A has the same card, set B. So it's not a random thing, these are just I don't know why they just didn't sell them all together in one pack. I don't know why we get them like this. And then what's interesting is there's like a dog tag for each one of these games. Now all three of these dog ta tags together were $9.99. They weren't available at the time I bought this. I actually ordered these dog tags with the games that were in wave four and it had just 
bundled it in with wave the when I got the package for wave three. Oh yeah, let's uh let's take a closer look at these dog tags. So there's our dog tag four. What is that? It's Phenotopia. This is Mighty Fight Federation, and then our Cathedral. And I think the backs of these are all the same. They all say PE. We'll open up these trading cards after I open up these. These feel a little bit different. Like the boxes seem to be a little bit sturdier than these ones like they even seem like thicker i don't know if you can even tell but you can just tell that the packaging on these is the card outer sleeve is a lot thicker than they are in the previous ones all right so let's get open and we'll start with phenotopia phenotopia oh yeah these are so much thicker it is wow they really up the cardboard on these this is sturdy as hell. And uh, there's our, there's a light, slightly different um, style than the previous ones. Like it's more artistic. Whereas I think the previous ones were just red with the name of the game. Open up this. It's so unusual that you have to un unwrap and then unwrap again. And it's not like there's multiple versions of this. This is not like that's a deluxe edition. That's the standard game. They, they do have alternate uh, boxes that you could buy like there's a retro versions and steelbook versions but i usually just stick with the standard version again i don't know why i would need multiple boxes for one game but yeah there we go we get our manual instruction book and now i know for a fact that uh, premium edition games is going to give you a really good quality manual here's our challenge for this game catch a turtle while fishing um, so i'm gonna have to take time out from evercade and pinball to play these games to get the patches <laughs> game number six is mighty fake federation and this is kind of like the oddball out of all of them so far because this is the only game that's not sprite based this is like a 3d fighting game which is kind of unusual again i like these thick cases and i like these cases so much that I don't, uh, on, the, on the shelf with the Switch games, I, I stack all these together. I don't put them in alphabetical order with the rest of them. I put them in numerical order uh, by themselves. <laughs> uh, Mighty Fight Federation. Oh, look, they get a different thing on the other side. I don't know if I looked at the, both sides of this. Oh, it's the same thing. All right, what we got in here, knife the side. Again, uh, wow, nice thick manual. There's a card in here. Oh, that. I don't be so surprised. That's your challenge card. But yeah, we get all uh, the uh, characters in here. It seems like there's a lot of characters. And I know to Toe Jam and Earl are in the game, and Yuka and Laylee are in the game. I think those were downloadable characters. Riki, that's from uh, uh, Kunikun games, I think. Yeah, Kunio. Okay, this doesn't seem like the type of game I would have bought, but because it's a premium edition release, I'm gonna say okay, because look at what they do. And they're making the releases better. These cases are so much sturdier. All right, last game here, Cathedral. And again, I'm doing this for the patch, the unboxing patch. So, Cathedral. Come on out. I mean, this in a way is almost better than Steelbook, because it's not gonna get damaged like a Steelbook. This is like if you want like 17 layers covering your Switch cartridge. You gotta unwrap and then unwrap again. Cathedral. And boom. Oh, kind of exploded there. But there's our Cathedral Premium Challenge card. Look at this manual. Foil. How often do you see that? Foiled cover on a game manual. Look at that. That is incredible. Yeah, you know, I may not read the manual, but it's it just shows the effort they put into the packaging. Now that we've done that, I'm going to open up these cards and we can take a look at these cards here. Set A. So let's look at set A first. Oh, you know, I wonder if there's a, yeah, look, there's a an image you could uh, do on the back there. So let's uh, get a close up here on these cards here. So there we go. This uh, Hench Bane. <laughs> There's Toe Jam and Earl. Ukulele. Hyperion's Wish. A tombstone, a originelle. Okay, so that's, and, and again, there's something on the other side. So maybe uh, once I get them all, let's just see what's in, in A. Let's see if we can put these together here. Uh, yeah, we got our cards here. Let's go on to our next one. Strike Fist. Oh, Miriam from uh, Bloodstained. Okay. Hyperion, 
CEO Crystal Corrupt Hillbot 9000. Sorry if it's going in and out of focus. I'll open up the last one so I can then focus on trying to put that together. L he L E H E. I have no idea. Stingray. Remy Ricard. Red card. Crystal Human. Cunio. There's Cunio. And Riki. There we go. So let's see if we can put together whatever image this is. I didn't have the camera up high enough, but there is the completed image with all the trading cards. Let's see if we can get up even higher. I have it on manual focus, so let's see here. Let's see if we can get it better. No, okay, that's pretty good. Okay, so there you go. I had to lift the camera up even higher on the tripod just to get that all in focus, but there we go. There's a complete image with all the trading cards. All right, so there we go. That's our uh, pickups and uh, unboxing video for Premium Edition Games Wave 3. I pretty much want to make this a separate video because this is pretty much the best way I've seen any publisher package games standard, for the Switch at least. All the games have been good. They haven't released anything so far that I haven't liked and just the fact that um, this one was so good, I'm sold on them. I'll buy anything they put out <laughs> until it starts being garbage and that's my phone going off. So I guess it's time for me to go. <laughs> Oh, it's just a alert for some reason. Okay, anyway, I'll end it anyway. Thanks for watching. See you all next time. Bye.